Hey, what's up, everybody? Um, so it is my second day here in D.C., and today was just amazing. Um, I had the opportunity today to go into the White House, not just on the tour, not just outside where a lot of people go, but actually into the White House and got to interview Colonel Parker, Colonel Steve Parker that works hand in hand with Michelle Obama uh, on the Joining Forces Initiative, uh, which helps veterans in all sorts of ways. But that's basically what my whole morning consisted of. I got to walk to all the monuments, and if you're my friend on Facebook or on Instagram, then you saw what I was talking about. And I haven't uploaded a lot of pictures. I took, I think, over 200 pictures. Uh, just this morning, I went to the Lincoln Memorial, uh, the reflecting pool. I stood, uh, by the way, while I was at the White House, I stood where Obama gives his interviews to the press, right on the X, which uh, I thought was pretty cool, at least. Um, and then also this morning, we got... Um, we got honored, I guess you can say, in front of the teachers. Now, hold up a second. Let me show you what we got. We got a goodie bag, and in that goodie bag, we got a couple of things. We got a reporter's note bag from P notepad from PBS NewsHour, uh, an empty paper and an envelope. I don't know what these are for, and an old, and I mean old, um, postcard of the. Supreme Court building here in DC. So I thought that was really cool. And then we also got a, a name a badge holder and a lanyard. Uh, these for when we went to the White House. We had to put our state IDs in here because um, we had to go through several checkpoints. So of course it's easier to just say, hey, here's my ID and give it, hand it to uh, the Secret Service. By the way, the Secret Service was really cool. We met some really cool Secret Service guys uh, that are down there, and there was a protest going on in front of the in front of the White House actually in regards to the whole Israel and uh, God, uh, the whole Israel conflict that's going on. So, also in those goodie bags, we found a wide angle microphone lens uh, from Photo Jogo. Uh, they actually donated these to the to the program to give them to us. And the way these work is, on our phone we put a little magnet, and then you put on the um, the lens. But actually, these weren't meant to use on our phones. The big surprise that I think every All Star took while we were here, all eleven of us, is that they actually gave us one of these babies. An iPad mini. They actually gave us... I'm sorry, I'm trying to open it. They actually gave us... An iPad mini. You see, I already... Downloaded Instagram, Twitter, Facebook on it. But I think that the coolest part... Oh, I'm sorry. I don't own a lot of Apple products except for my iPhone. And I've barely had like a month with it. So I'm still getting used to it. But the coolest part is that it's at, our names are actually engraved. Well, not engraved, but written on them. So they personalized one for each and every one of the All-Stars, which I think that is really, really cool. They did not have to do that. I mean, it was enough to take me to the White House. Um, now let me put this back where I had it. I'm sorry. Just, I hate when I have things out of order. So back to where I was. Um, I got to spend my morning with some of the All-Stars. Uh, Isaiah, Andrew, and Kennedy. So I got to spend my morning with them, um, mostly. Uh, along with all the other All-Stars. We uh, had some pizza a little bit earlier. And uh, now I'm waiting to actually get interviewed about what it was like uh, to go to the White House uh, for PBS NewsHour. So it's a really, really busy day, but after I think we're going to go get ice cream or something like that. So I'm really looking forward to that, just uh, looking out into the town. And I actually want to ride the Ferris wheel that is right behind me. That you can see. So the, I actually cut off the video because I flipped it, but actually this is the Ferris wheel right there. I don't know if you can see it, but there it is. 
Um, so hopefully I get the opportunity to do that before I leave. Um, it was, it, it's just been a really cool experience so far. Of course I was tired from this morning. I fell asleep on the shuttle along with everybody else. Um, but I'm excited. And I think it's really cool. Uh, I, I can actually go downstairs and get anything I want to eat and just say that it's on room 405 and I can get it for free. Can you believe that? Well, not for free. Somebody's going to pay for it, but I don't have to pay for it, which is freaking amazing. So, that's it. I think I'm... I think that's it for now. I mean, I'm getting along with all the All Stars really well. Uh, made a new, co made some new contacts. Uh, I'm just happy to be uh, collaborating with people that uh, young people like me that are interested in the industry. Uh, they know what they want to do, and um, I'm grateful for this opportunity. There is nothing uh, that can ever change this. You know, uh, we are the inaugural class of. The PBS News Hour All Stars. We are the originals. Now I actually have a phone coming in, phone call coming in from my dad. So I'll leave you guys.